candidate for uh, New Hamburg and Kitchener Conestoga for the Green Party. Um, when I first heard about the meeting here tonight, I, I came prepared to, forgive me, rail against the uh, people who are going to be opposing high-speed rail. But the website, the presentation tonight has, has really opened my eyes into understanding what the issue is. And although the Green Party's platform says that the um, Green Party is, is in favor of high-speed rail, I think that it's one of these issues of terminology where high-performance rail is probably really what was intended in the policy document. So the presentation that you've provided here tonight has been really, really useful to me to be able to better articulate that to anybody who's going to be in the, um, in the business of making policy for the Green Party. Um, just want to say thank you for, for opening my eyes to that. One of my questions to you is, is there room for, for some level of, of compromise? One of the uh, big issues for the Green Party is the reduction of fossil fuels. And that generally means electrification of all manner of uh, transit systems, uh, buses, cars, and, and rail as well. So is there still room in your plan for having an electrified high performance rail rather than uh, relying entirely on uh, diesel and fossil fuels? I think at this point there's room for any of the options. From our perspective, if we're going to invest this kind of money to improve the transportation system within southwestern Ontario, we should be looking at all the options and essentially expand the EA process to do that, to do just that, so that we have investigated high performance rail that's electrified, perhaps high performance rail that's uh, diesel powered, perhaps high performance rail that's hydrogen powered or enhanced via, you know, any of the, there's a, many options that could be considered. And, uh, you know, high-speed rail is very restrictive in this situation. 